Today is November the 30th, 2023. This is Carmen bringing you your daily Bloodborne Remaster update. There's no news on a Bloodborne Remaster today, uh, but right now on screen, you're probably seeing what is probably the coolest thing I've ever done in Liza P. I like reset this boss about eight times just to get this. I wanted to pull this off so bad. I figured it would work and it did. Th this was just so awesome. Uh, anyways, that aside. So, uh, gaming news today. Uh, a quote-unquote insider said that GTA 6 is currently planned for release in the first part of this month before the Game Awards. Uh, I saw a couple people say that it could be tomorrow at the soonest or Tuesday at the latest, uh, or it could be next Thursday at the latest, which would mean the Game Awards. Um, so I think that it's pretty likely for it to be any day this week. Uh, I'm not going to say, oh, they're going to wait for Game Awards. You know, GTA, you know, like GTA 6 is definitely big enough to just not show up at a show like that. Like, it, this is going to be, the, like, the biggest game ever, I'm pretty sure. Like, this is the most... This is the most anticipated game of all time. I don't think that's a crazy hot take. I'm, I'm like stumbling over my words as I think about how to phrase it. Because, you know, to me, obviously, you know, Final Fantasies are bigger. But as a whole, for the entire industry, this is the most anticipated game in history. So, yeah, I, I think that GTA 6 is big enough to just skip the game awards and be fine for it. Um, so, I think it's pretty likely that it is before Thursday. But I, I wouldn't rule out that it is at the game awards. Speaking of stuff at the Game Awards, um, so uh, you think it was yesterday, the FF7 Twitter tweeted at that Ever Crisis, the mobile game, is coming to Steam on December the 7th, the same day as the Game Awards. So this, to me, screams that they will do the same thing they usually do, which is whenever they drop a new trailer for something remake-related, whether it's remake or the DLC for remake or uh, rebirth, they always do like some social media things, some social media posts about the mobile games. So I'm pretty sure what this is going to be is Rebirth trailer at the Game Awards and then like social media posts about uh, Ever Crisis or if they've got another mobile game coming, whatever, uh, one of those two. So we'll see, it could be wrong, but I am expecting something Final Fantasy related to be at this show. Uh, tomorrow or Saturday, I'm going to have a video going up of my yearly predictions, hopes, and pipe dreams for the Game Awards. Uh, I don't think it is... Like, I don't think everything I said in that is completely accurate. I recorded that late last night, and I don't feel like re-recording it, but for the most part, I agree with everything I said uh, in that video. So, anything else? Oh, also, uh, I know I said I was going to stream tomorrow, but here's the beauty of it. Uh, the world hates me, because now it is going to be raining the entire weekend. So, we will see what the forecast looks like tomorrow around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If it looks bad and it looks like I can't do it, then Blood Level 4 will have to continue to wait. Uh, you know, earlier in the, like, last week, I had to keep putting it off because I had uh, a death in the family and I wasn't sure what the schedule of the wake and the funeral and everything like that would be. So I kept having to put it off over and over and over again because I just didn't know. Uh, right now, though, it just seems like the weather is just going to block me on this. So... We will see what I do. Anyways, I guess that is about it. There is no news on a Bloodborne remaster today. That's been your daily Bloodborne remaster update for November the 30th and the entirety of November 2023.